Four years ago, my manager just called me in her cabin and said that, do you want to go to Finland? And I was like, yeah, definitely, why not? So, okay, how about tomorrow, 10 o'clock? And I was like, what? Yeah, just you have like uh, five minutes. Tell me what you want. And I was like, okay, I will go. So the next day I was in Helsinki and I am still here. I went to my workplace and there was nobody, nobody who came to greet me or meet me. So I was a little bit upset and uh, it was a culture shock for me at that moment that nobody is talking to me. And some time passed and still people were sending me emails when I could see that they're sitting so close to me. I was uh, honestly a little bit, you know, a little bit angry. And I was that, hey, why don't you talk to me? You're still sending me emails. What's wrong with you? And the person was like, uh, well, we thought we were just giving you some space. And then I realized that I was thinking so much only from my own perception. There was no right or wrong. That was one of the first learnings for me also, that how to adapt to new cultures. Even when I was back in India, I was thinking of doing my MBA so that I could learn more about business and um, entrepreneurship. So luckily I got selected, I applied here and I got selected for doing MBA international business. I started experimenting with the startup scene in Helsinki, which is one of the best startup scenes in the world. I think if I would not have come across that culture, I would not be an entrepreneur. I saw the whole uh, way of working and how fulfilling it is, but also like how much freedom it gives for your creativity. There is a huge community and that community is ready to help you anytime for whatever you want. So um, it becomes much easier for you to ideate, validate your solutions and also make networks. My co-founder, so Samuel Yurionen, also my partner, um, he, uh, he also helped me quite a lot in starting the business because he is a uh, native Finn and uh, he understands the language and our target market. So we want uh, the companies to understand how they can attract and retain people from different backgrounds because um, especially in the Nordics, we need more people. Initially, when I started talking about this topic of inclusion, it was not very much understood or received very nicely because it was very new. But now it has uh, become a more a topic of a discussion, which is really good because people are now talking about it. They are trying to understand why it is important. understanding your own biases, privileges, and acknowledging that we are all on a learning path and it takes some time to grow and to learn, um, I think is the right attitude.